Have you ever looked at a historic building and thought, I wish I could take that home with me? Well, with a drone and a little bit of photogrammetry magic, you actually can. In this video, I'm going to show you the entire workflow. We're going to go from flying the drone around this beautiful old church ruins in Canada, processing the data in Polycam to create a digital twin, and finally turning it into a physical object. And the best part? I didn't print this at home. I used a Bamboo Lab printer available to anyone at my local public library. Let's get started. Step one is the capture. I used my drone to fly an orbital pattern around the church. The secret here isn't just taking random photos. You need high overlap. I flew in a couple of circles, taking regular photos and ensuring every angle of the structure was covered. For this model, I focused heavily on the walls to make sure the software could stitch it all together. Once the drone landed, I took the JPEGs and uploaded them into Polycam. If you haven't used Polycam before, it's a photogrammetry engine that runs in the cloud. I uploaded the drone photos, selected photogrammetry mode and let their servers do the heavy lifting. A little while later, we have this. One problem we have, if you look around, is you'll see that we have far too much of the surrounding countryside. So we're going to have to do a quick bit of an edit using the crop tool on the left hand side to crop in to just the area that we're concerned with. Here's our digital twin. The detail's incredible, but to print this, we need a specific file type. I'm going to click export and select STL. This is the standard language that 3D printers understand. Now, I don't own a high-end 3D printer, but I don't need to. Check your local library. Many of them have maker spaces like mine does. I sent mine to my local library where the helpful staff there helped me bring the file into the slicer software. Since the library uses a bamboo printer, we're using Bamboo Studio. First, we have to lay it down and then scale it since we can't print a life-size church. I'm scaling this to about 100 millimeters wide so it sits nicely on a desk. Here's a crucial tip. Architecture and trees have overhangs. Plastic can't be printed in thin air, so I'm enabling tree supports. These build up little branches to hold up the roof and leaves, and they're easy to snap off later. Once we have everything ready, we send it to the printer and watch it do its thing. Their printer even has a little camera inside so you can see what's happening. But we can also go and take a look directly. Watching it laid things down layer by layer is always satisfying, but I won't bore you with that because a few hours later, the print is done. Fresh off the printer, it looks a bit messy, but using a pair of pliers and a sharp knife, we're able to clean up the edges and pull the supports away. And there you have it, from a drone flight in Canada to a physical model in my hand. It captured the old ruins with far more detail than I could possibly have managed. And this was actually the church where my wife's parents were married. This is now ready for priming and painting if you wanted to make it look realistic, but I kind of like the clean architectural look. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to drone mapping, check out my playlist here on how to fly for photogrammetry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.